Today we're going to learn how to show the distance in real time with a text of any object from one single position, all done in geometry nodes. So let's do it. Okay, first of all, let's go to geometry nodes, create a new profile. And what I want to do is to use some points. Let's write it here. Let's say, for example, 15 or whatever, just for the example. And I want to animate these points in all directions, except Z axis. And later, don't worry, you can change this point for any object. So, we're going to use Simulation Zone to create this animation. Let's connect the input and the output. And to animate this point in all directions, in random directions, we need to create first this vector, this random vector. So, let's use a store name attribute and select vector. Let's call this velocity and let's use here a random vector. I don't want to use Z, remember, so I'm going to select 0. And here, minus 1. So all the points are going to move in all directions. And like always, I'm going to use here a vector mass and select a scale to scale this vector. And that means that we can control the initial velocity to make it slower, something like 0 0.1. Okay. All this vector, random vectors, is the initial velocity. Now, what we want to do is to use this attribute that we created here with set position to move these points in all directions. So let's use set position and let's bring this attribute that we created. Let's copy the name of attribute, paste it here, and connect it in offset. And now, if I press play, we have different points moving in different directions, thanks to this vector that we created. OK, the first step is done. It's just for this tutorial, for example. You don't have to do this. But now what I want is to create a text and to repeat this text in the position of each point. And this text has to show the distance between the position of each point and the center, for example, or any other position that we can select. OK, so how we do that? Let's start creating the text. Let's use a string to curve. We can preview this. And let's write something so we can see better the text. Hello. Perfect. Let's center this. And let's give a mesh with fill curve. OK. Now we have a text. But we want to work with values, with the distance. So instead of using a text, a string, we are going to use a value. But we need to convert this value to a string. So thanks to this node, we can convert a value, this value, to a string. And with this, I can show any value that I'm setting here. If you want to show more decimals, you select one decimal to whatever you want. OK, I'm going to set one. We have a text. Perfect. And now let's come back here. So what I want is to show this text on the top of each point. So how we do that? To do this, what we have to do is to use for each element. This node is available in Blender 4.3 or higher. And this node, basically, I have some tutorials on my channel. But if you don't know how it works, basically, this node allows you to make copies for each element that you insert here. So let me move this here. And let's connect all the points, this geometry, in the input of the geometry. Now let's open this and connect this text here. Don't worry, right now I'm going to explain you how it works. OK, now we don't see anything because we need to connect this or this. If I connect this one, I'm going to show only the original geometry without showing what we have here. If you want to show what we have here, then you need to connect this one. And if you want to see both, then the only thing we have to do is to use join geometry. And I want to show both because I want to see the points and the text. OK. Now, what I want is to apply the copy of this text. So right now, what is happening 
is that for each element, an element is all this, a point, an edge, face, whatever. So this node only allows you to work with one element of the geometry that we are adding. Now we are using points. Remember, we have points. So we're going to select points. And for each element, for each point, is applying, because we are connecting this here, a text. However, now all the texts are together. You only see one text, one number, but all the texts are together. And what we can do is to say, look, can you move each text to the position of each point? Okay, so how we do that? First of all, we need to add here or set position or transform to change the position of this text. Okay, by the way, I'm going to make this text smaller. However, if we use position node that have the position of all the points, we cannot connect this here because this socket is a simple socket, as you can see, and this is a field. So it gives you an error. And this is the same with set position. It has a field, but if you do like that, it works, but it doesn't work. Okay? So what we have to do is to break, to split this information. So let's connect this here. And when you connect this here, remember, this has the information of the position of each element in this scenario, the points. And when you connect it here, as you can see, we have this socket. So basically, this is like a splitting. This node is splitting this information for each element. It's like saying to each point, Okay, you have the position X, you have the position Y, Z, whatever, whatever, whatever. And now, for all these copies, remember, all these are copies. So for each element, we can say, use its own position. And thanks to this, now each text has been placed in the position of each point. Thanks to this node that have the power to split the information with these normal sockets. So you only see this, but basically it's repeating this text for each element. That's why it's called for each element. Okay, cool. We have this. And now the only thing we want, by the way, we can rotate this text with this value. And if you want to put the text on the top, because now they are overlapping, what we can do is to use a vector math, because here we cannot control the Z, okay? But if we add this here, we have an extra control. And now we can push the text on the top of each point. Okay. Now, the last step. How we show the distance of the position of each point and the center, for example. To do this, what we have to do, we have this node called vector math distance that calculate the distance between two vector to position. You can use length, but it's better distance because later we can change the other position. So what we're going to do, let me move this. Actually, let's leave it here. Here we have the position, okay? And now let's calculate the position of each point and another position, for example, the center, 0, 0, 0. And this gives you a value that is a float. However, as you can see, it's a field. So we cannot connect directly this here because this socket is a normal socket. As you can see, we have the problem that before we had. However, we can apply the same solution. Thanks to for each element, we can split this information. This node is calculating the distance for each point from the center. And now we can say, hey, please, can you split this information in normal sockets so I can use it for each text? And thanks to this, if now we connect this here, we have the distance in real time between the position of each point and the center. And if I press play, you can see it better.
As you can see, the point that is more far away, like this one, says that is 9 meters 0.1. And this one is really close. It says that the distance between this position and this point is 0 0.7. Perfect. If you want more decimals, remember, you can click here. And that's how we do it. And you can add as many points as you want, remember. Let's add, for example, 50. And you can see that it works perfectly. I'm going to leave it in 15. And I'm going to show you an extra tip if you want to connect all the points with the center. So, to do this, what we have to do is to use a curve line. So, let's use a curve line. And we want to connect it here because we want to say to, for each element, make a copy of this. So, let's use join geometry and connect this here. Okay. Now, what we want is that one part of the line is, for example, remember, we have here the line. We have the star and the end. So, for example, one part of the line, I want it in the position of each point. So, if here we have the position of each point, and it is the same like this, we can connect it here. It doesn't matter, start and the end. Okay. And now, as you can see, we have all the lines connected to all the points. And all the lines are connected to this position, that is, this position. And what we can do is to match this position with this one. So you can select 0, 0. And now we have a representation of this distance. Or what we can do to change the position and not always use the center is to use, for example, an empty. Or you can sample if you want any other position, okay? But I'm going to use an empty to show you how to change the position. And what we can do here is to use object info and select this empty and use the location of the empty. So now it's calculating the distance of each point and the empty. And to match this, because if we move the empty, the lines doesn't move. We need to make a copy of this and say the end connected to the location of the empty. And now if I move the empty, let me add a mesh because if not, you cannot see it. So here we have the curve lines. Let's use curve to mesh and convert it with a cycle curve. Let's like something like 0.01. Okay, perfect. So now we can see better. We have an empty, and now it's calculating the distance. Let me add a material because if not, you will not see it. Actually, I'm going to add it in the end and make everything white. Let's say this view. And in theory, now it's working perfectly. If not, let's add. A little of emission, so we can see better, more white. Perfect. We don't have to add glow, later you can do it, but it's just to see it better. So now, as you can see, let's come back to geometry nodes. With the empty, we can control from where it's calculating the distance. So if I press play, it's telling you. So as you can see, for example, with this, we can say, OK, tell me the distance. You don't have to show the lines, OK? It's just to see it better for this tutorial. But we can say, show me the distance between each point and this location. And you can see that if I move this and I make it really close to one point, the number, it will reduce, like this one, 0.23. And the one that is more far away, like this one that says 30, is working perfectly. So basically, 
So if you want, you can do it from the center or from any object that you want. So you can create this animation. And if you want to show it like that, what you can do then is not to rotate this text and just show it like this. And instead of moving this, you can do is to move it in this axis that is this one. And now we can see better. So I hope you learned something new and if you like this video, please give a like, subscribe and remember you can do this project and many more on my pet. And see you in the next tutorial.